guys, today I'm making a picture frame that will hold all the jewelry. You're going to need yardsticks. I got these from Lowe's for 65 cents each, and I have four of them. You're going to need a 6,000 glue, a small box for drawers. I got mine for 85 cents. A paintbrush, a small can of paint, any color for this in white. Spray paint, I got mine in silver from Walmart for three dollars. And a large picture frame. This is 16 by 20. Starting off by painting all of my yardsticks saw your yardsticks in half or according to how big your frame is just fit it to the inside of the frame. Okay, so I only need to saw two yardsticks in half and I try to get it as close to the middle as I could. And then once you have those sawed, you're going to want to turn your frame to the back and then glue it on either side with your strong glue and then you want the side that you're not going to use so you're going to want the white part sticking on the frame. So this is day two of me working on the frame to have the drawer. And I glued down all of my white yard sticks. And now it looks like this. They're even in space. The best that I could on space. And then the next thing you want to do is glue on my knobs with the same E6000 glue as I used before. This is day three of making the jewelry hanger, and it shouldn't take that long, but I left a lot of time to let the glue dry so everything stuck really well, and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, this is the final result, and it already has all my jewelry on it. There are different levels to it, so my longer necklaces are attached to the top, and some of my shorter necklaces are on the knobs right here. And on the back, it just looks like this. You can see where the yardsticks are painted, and then they were also glued to the back. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed.